Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your performance video editing in DaVinci Resolve on older or lower specification hardware by using proxy media. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do obviously is jump into DaVinci Resolve. I've already got a project created, as you can see, it's one that I'm working on, although I've not actually done any editing on it yet. And I also have my bins down the side. So what I've done, as I've loaded the media in that I intend to use for this project, if you exclude my timeline. And if I just go over to my edit pane just now and I just drag one of these files in. I can turn my mixer and my inspect off just now. So... As you can see, most of this has already been edited. If I drag my mouse across, it's not actually that bad. I mean, my system's performance is pretty good, but it's a decent system. However, if it wasn't, there's a simple solution. You can do it from up here, or you can do it from your media page. But if you select the media that you want to have better performance with, I'm not going to select it all for this tutorial, I'm just going to select my intro for example. You can right click on it and you can go down and you can select generate proxy media and depending on your PC specification or depending on how quick that goes, I'll do the same for my outro. Now obviously these are very short videos, if I was to use some of these it would take some time. Now what's actually happened is it's created a smaller version of these files to make it easier to edit. So if I go to my intro, my intro, as you can see, is super smooth and my outro will be the same. I've not even added my outro to this one yet. Oh, no, I have. I will get more of a video over there. So as you can see, it's super smooth. Now what actually happens is if I go down here and click on the cog, go to master settings and scroll down to optimize media, the proxy media resolution you can change. Generally people set this to half or a quarter resolution. So if you're editing in 4K at a quarter resolution that would be your video, your proxy media would be in 1080p. I've been using the default settings for this and never had any issues but DNX HD or DNXHR, as it is in this case, is a high quality mezzanine codec. If you've ever seen Linus Tech Tips talk about their render servers, they use a mezzanine codec, not DNXHD, but they do use a mezzanine codec. I think they use Cineform. GoPro's codec. So you can also change what media it is, uncompressed. Uncompressed would be good, but would be a massive file sizes. There's Cineform, like I mentioned earlier on, and obviously DNXHD. Your render cache can be the same. You can enable background caching after five seconds, meaning that it will start to cache stuff. If your mouse doesn't move for five seconds, your system isn't doing anything. And you can also select it to automatically cache transitions in user mode. So if that was ticked when you add a transition onto your timeline, it will start to render that itself. Again, as soon as it's, the, the system's not been used for five seconds. Then we've got the same option for composites, so that would be stuff of designed inside Fusion. So this is where you would choose what you wanted and how hard you wanted to go regarding reducing the resolution. You can do original half, quarter, one eighth and one sixteenth, one eighth and one sixteenth, unless you read it in eight or twelve K is probably excessive. Otherwise it should be fine. Let me see if I can give you a better example. I'll pick one of one of these files. I will right click it and I will generate the proxy media. Now this is a longer file, so this will take some time. As you can see right away, it's almost five minutes for this and this is a pretty beefy machine. But the time that you would save if your system was low spec is generally a lot more than the time that it would actually take to render these files.
Okay, that's just generated my optimized media and that was the first video clip. So that would be these images here. So if I click here, you should see these are a lot smoother. And look at the speed that I can scrub my timeline at. So that's the benefits of optimized media. This is particularly useful if you're using a laptop such as a Dell XPS 13 for video editing or something that's really low spec or much lower spec and doesn't have a dedicated graphic card because this will really reduce the amount of pressure that's put on that graphic card for rendering it. And the advantage is if you're using proxy media it automatically uses the correct files when you actually export it. So it uses the full quality footage so although you're editing in lower quality footage here, when you actually export it, it imports those changes into the quality footage so that you get full lossless quality exported out, or at least as lossless as the codec that you choose to output at. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.